So last time I did a dbrand video, I got attacked by robots on Twitter. Not only that, but my video also won some uninvited fake dislikes by some very questionable humans, not robots. By the way, if you want to find out more about dbrand as a company and see details on how their skins work, make sure to check out the video in the description below. So after I just told you this, you can imagine how reluctant I was to do another dbrand video. But you know how curiosity killed the cat, right? Silly me, I had to find out myself how grippy and special was dbrand's ribcage and I had to test the so-called invincible prism screen protector. I mean, how hard can it be? I only need a hammer and a race driver. So let's start with the case first. Let's go back in time and talk about how it all started. The first grip case was not actually a case, but rather a bumper. It was D-Brand's first attempt at this non-skin sector, and being robots, they were logical to raise capital and interest by the form of crowdfunding. I was amongst the first to grab one of their initial grips, but I never got to the point to do a video about it. A few weeks ago, I got the chance to test it according to D-Brand's advertising model though. So did you find anything weird about that clip? Let's uh, rewind a little bit. As you can tell by this frame, the phone is no longer on the hood of the car. Here's what actually happened. Yup, the grip lost its grip. But I have a very good explanation. The phone flew away at the very end of some serious driving that involved multiple brake locks, drifting and some serious thrashing around the corners. That, plus the fact that I couldn't find a Lambo so we settled for the arguably better looking Corvette with a more curved hood. Also the grip itself took all the impact from the multiple flips on the gravel and the phone was absolutely unharmed. I guess the advertising shock absorbing polymers did their job. And that's why I knew I should have gotten a grip. Just like the original grip, the new one is just as grippy and even more protective because this time it covers the entire back of the phone. There's a lot of thought put into it, starting from the gradual top to bottom slightly curved protrusion that maximizes protection. The fact that you can pretty much slap any skin on the back and make it unique, the packaging and just so much more. I love it. The grip is available for pretty much all flagships out there and as with the next item that I'm going to be talking about, I'll put a link in the description below. Moving on to the prism screen protector. That is another thing dbrand recently announced and aside from f***ing up the installation on three different occasions, I managed to install it and not waste a second idiot glass using the foolproof application technology. In my defense, my first f*** up was the fact that I cut through the opening box tape which is supposed to be reused again. But in my defense, 
the instructions to watch the application video on the brand's official YouTube channel was written inside the box. Although, I knew that. So how good is the mind-boggling impact-resistant glass? Okay. Mm. So the screen protector cracked on the third hit. But since I'm cheap, I use a dummy iPhone which is not dense in sight and doesn't actually have a real glass as a screen. Looking at the slow-mo footage, you can see that I was actually using some serious force that was shaking the tripod sitting quite far away from the table. I'm sure if this was in fact a real phone, it would have withheld the third blow as well. The conclusion here is that the screen protector works as advertised because you'll never end up hammering your smartphone unless you're an idiot. Like me. So aside from giving you that peace of mind, another thing I love about the prism glass is its thinness. I've tried numerous glass screen protectors over the years and my main complaints were always thickness, the fact that they occasionally chip and later on break just from everyday use, and most of them tend to gather more fingerprints than the regular screen of your phone. Also, what I hate most in thick glass protectors is the fine dust that accumulates around the edges of the phone, something that is not an issue with the prism. This screen protector does feel like a real foam glass thanks to its special coating and thin profile. So the conclusion of this video is this. If you are afraid that you might forget your smartphone on the hood of your car, or if you have some weird fetish for smacking your expensive device with a hammer, better check out dbrand.com. And this is not a sponsored video, by the way. This is E. Oh, we're not.